the other day I was talking to a buddy over the phone and we were talking about that Coachella thing and I brought up Miku and how it was, you know, great that Coachella was canceled because it saved Miku from having to be there, you know, joking around a little bit, but also, also not joking around. But it made me think, what about a Hololive event? And then I found out that they actually do have Hololive events, except that I think they're not actually in-person live. Uh, that might be due to the state of what's going on with the world right now, although Japan is certainly handling it different than in the U.S., and obviously different states in the U.S. are handling it different, but you get the point. The point is, what about a real Hololive show? Like, you could have the virtual YouTuber projections, like Miku gets projected, and you could have, like, the fans actually show up in real life. Like, you know, world health situation aside, let's have a hypothetical scenario where, like, everything is normal again. Do you think that would work? Do you think that would succeed? I think that'd be pretty sick. I think the only problem would be, uh, you know, ar arguably a problem. Some people won't mind this at all, but it might have a... <laughs> what do you think the ratio is going to be male to female that show up? That's what I'm getting at. I mean, that that, that part might be a little... Uh, I, hopefully, it's an outdoor venue if they ever do that. Let me just put it that way. Indoor, I might get a little... Uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, if you're totally out of the loop on what I'm showing here, this is Beyond the Stage for Hololive. If you want more information, check out beyondthestage.hololive.tv. And that's, once again, like a live event, just not in person to my understanding, but more info on the website. Catch you guys in the comments.